Welcome to the review by DJSPRC. Today we have the Traxxas Fiesta Rally, my tribute to Ken Block. Uh, we're going to do a small modification to it. Uh, it's, it is a fun machine to play with. I do enjoy it. The only down point that I have with it, that's pretty much any Traxxas vehicle that's 4x4. Um, they give out more power to the back. Now, I could turn around and play with the oils and the diffs. Put a little bit of lighter oil in the back. That way, the power would go mostly in the front. <clears throat> and it would pull pretty much equally. Yes, if you look at one of my one of the last videos that I showed this guy, and I'm pretty much going sideways left and right. Uh, it's not it's not fun it is but i'm trying to keep this machine more stable uh pretty much what i did with my uh lucy scte that's my other short course uh, i play with the diffs and i put a diff the diff fluid on that one because that vehicle has front diff middle diff and rear diff and what i did i have like 3,000 weight in the back 7,000 in the middle and 5,000 in the front if i remember correctly and the vehicle corners like a dream. What I'm thinking of doing to this guy here is trying the Traxxas center diff. That is part number uh, 6814. Uh, basically it's the differential kit center complete. And I think in the oil that's already in it, it's 100K if I remember correctly. Uh, I decided why not, let's try this. It's a direct drop-in, no modifications to do. And I'm like, why not? Let's, let's, let's try this. Let's see how it is. My body, my tribute can, put that aside. And let's dismantle this vehicle a bit. There is a couple of screws to remove. Because of the the bar. But for anybody of you that has a slash 4x4, you would have the Stampede 4x4. This modification is for you if you want to do it. It's a little bit dirty since the last ride I did. Once you have your bar removed, or if you don't have a, a, a stiffening bar, you'll need to remove these two big bolts right here. Once you have that, flip your vehicle around and do the bottom ones. You don't need to remove your motor. Now, if you decide to change your gear ratio, because they do offer you different. Yes, now you will need to remove your motor. But you're just going to split the case in two. And what are we going to do? We're going to remove our spare gear. Make sure to keep our bearing here. And let's make sure everything's fine here. Everything's fine. And we have our spur gear right here. Now, mine is a little bit chewed up as my motor did move. Now, what I'm gonna do here, 
I'm going to remove my cover. And we're going to loosen our motor. Okay, and put that aside. I should have uh, cleaned this, this vehicle a little bit better. Now let's open this. You'll have your instructions, some screws, your diffs, your diffs, your diff, and different size of pinions, uh, spurs, I mean, I apologize. <clears throat> now if I look at this one, it is the 54. That would be this guy here. It comes with a 52 and a 50. I don't want to play with the ratios. I want to stay the same. Now, when you grab your spur, you'll see two different sides. One's gone like and concaved. That's where you're going to insert your diff into it. and grab the screws that came with it. Now, I would suggest when you're bolting your, your spur to your diff, do not use a drill. And when you feel it snug, stop. Don't over tighten it. Because the casing of the diff it is plastic. <clears throat> and if you do go and over tighten it, you'll be, you'll strip it and then you'll need to get this under diff. You could use CA to kind of rebuild the threads, but I cannot guarantee how long it would last. Now, once that's done, you're going to grab your bearing that came out of there. Make sure to reinstall it right here. Make sure everything turns, everything does. Now we're going to grab our frame. And we're going to insert it right here. And while inserting it, make sure it goes in our drive shafts. And it's in. The only thing I don't like there's a lot of play. Wiggle, wiggle, I call it. <laughs> Don't like that. But once the back might be in, it might be fine. I'll take a look at that. Now I'm just going to make sure this is clean. It is. Could be cleaner, but... Okay, once that's in, now you're going to reinsert your both pieces together. Sometimes you'll need to roll it to align the other gears. There we go. You heard the clunk. Flip it around and tighten these two here. Now, I'm doing with a drill again. Just be careful not to strip them. Because again, they are screwed in plastic. Now, I just want to make sure. Okay, 
Yeah, the only thing I don't like... We'll see how long this, this guy goes. I just don't like the play right here. I don't know if you see it into the camera. Like, there's nothing holding it. <clears throat> this is a super simple install. They just say to put your bearing. If it doesn't last, it doesn't last. We'll put the stock back in. We'll put this guy back in. And we'll play with the, the fluids and the diffs. Now this, once this is done, we're going to put, oh yeah, before I forget, let's do our meshing. Let's say your spear gear was not damaged like mine. What you would need to do is just reverse what you just did. Now there's one thing I need to do. I need to move this guy in a bit. What I'm doing right now, it is hard to show you guys but I'm just making sure my pinion is aligning with the spur. I want the pinion to be pretty much dead center of the spur. just sat itself at the correct place now what I'm doing if you're not sure how to do it a lot of times there is hobby shops that will show you how to do it or even offer to do it for you. Some might not charge, some might. There's a little bit of play, that's what I want. Make sure this guy's tightened all the way. And my pinion is pretty much where I want it to be. And let's put this guy back together in one piece. Grab our center bar. Make sure she's seated all the way down. Again, these screws here, suggestion, do it by hand. <clears throat> I 
Then the only thing that's left to do is to put all the screws in the four corners and go have fun. Now I'm not gonna bore you guys with the rest of this, these screws here. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, post them below. I gladly answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that like button and give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it, appreciate it I mean. <laughs> and it does help the channel a lot. Thank you for watching.